Dr. Ziad Kazi is an emergency physician and an associate professor at Emory University. And his, first, uh, his talk will be about the impact of medical toxicology on global health. Dr. Kazi. Thank you. Thank you. I'm in good shape. I only have uh, 45 slides, so we should be OK. Thank you so much for inviting me. This is my time to pitch to you that medical toxicologists like myself can have a role in global health. I'm currently at Emory University in emergency medicine. I'm also the director of the International Postdoctoral Fellowship in Medical Toxicology at Emory. Additional affiliations include uh, I'm a secretary and co-founder of the Middle East North Africa Toxicology Association. I'm a board member of the American College of Medical Toxicology and the chair of the International Committee. And I'm the assistant medical director for the Georgia Poison Center. My message to you is clear. Medical toxicologists and the medical toxicology specialty can play, an impact, can play a role and a, have a positive impact on global health. And the message is specifically through prevention, through clinical care, and education. Um, my colleagues have talked about non-communicable diseases, did not mention toxicology and poisonings. Poisonings also around the world cause death and morbidity. The WHO in 2004 reported 346,000 deaths from unintentional poisonings, 91% of which occurred in low and middle income countries. Suicide takes a, uh, takes a million deaths around the world, a third of which are from pesticides. Snake bites also are common around the world with 5 million bites reported by WHO and associated mortality and morbidity. Poisonings also occur in outbreaks and epidemics. Methanol, diethylene glycol, lead are all usual culprits. Lead recently in Nigeria through the improper processing of lead containing ores, I'm sorry, of lead containing ores to extract gold in villages in Nigeria led to over 400 deaths in children less than five years of age. Methylmercury in Iraq and in Japan and radioiodine release from the Chernobyl nuclear power plant accident in 1986. Unfortunately, poisoning has an asymmetric burden on low and middle income countries. This is because these countries have poor access to care, poor access to antidotes and other resources, lack of specialized workforce, lack of policies to protect the public, and lack of data systems that will help us analyze the situation and come up with um, response plans and mitigation plans. Medical toxicology is a specialty currently in the US that's approved by the American Board of Medical Specialties that focuses on the diagnosis, management, and prevention of poisonings from medications, chemicals, occupational environmental toxins, and biological hazards. Currently in the United States, medical toxicologists are physicians, primarily from emergency medicine, as well as pediatrics and preventive medicine. Preventive medicine. However, we also have some colleagues who are trained in medical toxicology who come from internal medicine, psychiatry, neurology, and a few other specialties. We are board certified since 1993. We have a core curriculum. We have residency training around the US. We practice at various settings, inpatient, outpatient, academic, private practice, research, government, industry, global health, legal consulting, and telehealth. We also have a broad scope of practice from environmental, occupational, intentional overdoses, envenomations, terrorism preparedness and response, ionizing radiation, addiction medicine, forensic and analytical uh, toxicology. We offer solutions to the global health burden of disease through poisoning. We offer it through prevention. We aim at preventing exposures to chemicals. This is through poison control centers, through consulting, assessing and characterizing circumstances and sources of exposure to the public. Once we understand that, we can raise awareness and influence public policies. We've done that in the US successfully with lead. We were able to drop the hazardous lead levels in our population over the years through a series of, series of campaigns, public awareness campaigns, and governmental policy changes. We can do it around the world as well. Through clinical care, we can offer our expertise and assistance through telemedicine. Uh, we at Emory have recently started to offer this telemedicine toxicology support to the American University of Beirut. I am currently on call, so I hope they don't page me in these precious seven minutes that I have left. Um, we also offer support in outbreak response. Our fellowship in medical toxicology at Emory is affiliated with the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, as well as the Georgia Poison Center. 
We participate in regu regularly in any ep epidemic or outbreak that comes to the CDC. These are my fellows at various locations around the world investigating unknown chemical exposures or illnesses. We offer solutions through education. The Middle East North Africa Toxicology Association is the uh, only clinical toxicology association in the Middle East and North Africa. We are holding our annual training programs. We also offer in-training, uh, in-country training programs through um, our activities in India, as well as uh, other countries in the Middle East. Finally, we also try to reach people through technology, webinars, and satellite broadcasts around the world. In summary, medical toxicologists can play a role globally, and we do that best through prevention of poisonings. We also do that through educating uh, the workforce and also by providing clinical care through telemedicine. If you like a copy of my slides, you can email me at the uh, zkazi at emory.edu, and I thank you for your attention. And I'm early.